love you, Lord, because you first loved us. We love you, Lord, because you love us best. We love you, Lord, because you loved us so much that you sent the gift of your son that we might have a right to the tree of life.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and just express your love to God this morning. Tell him that you love him. Tell him that you love him. Tell him how much you love him. Jesus, we love you. We love you so much. We love you more each day. We love you more every time. We teach passing day, each passing week. We are growing in love more and more with you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us the grace to love you back. Thank you for helping us to love you back. Thank you for such a beautiful and wonderful relationship with you. Blessed be your name, Jesus. We are grateful. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this good night rest. Thank you for sparing us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for your goodness in our families, in the, in our spouses' life, in our children's life. We are grateful, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to read the Bible now. Please, as we read the Bible, make sure you pray in tongues under your breath. We're reading from Matthew chapter 7. Okay, I read Matthew 7 from verse 1. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pals before swines, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive, and he who seeks, find, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man is there among you, who, if his own son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good gifts to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and bread is and broad, sorry, is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do not do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from tastos. Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will like him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, 
and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be likened will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was his fall and so it was when jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes praise god the reading of god's word is blessed in jesus name okay we'll continue our talk this morning on conformed in authority and power conformed in authority and power we have been looking at conforming to the image of god's son how you and i can conform more and more to the image of the son of god how we can confirm more and more conform more and more praise god now um we read from the bible we read from first john chapter 4 verse 17 first john chapter 4 and verse 17 and the bible says in that place he, he said, First John chapter 4 and verse 7, he said, Love has been perfected amongst all. Love, love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. So we began to say that as Jesus is presently, so are we in this world. And how is he uh, presently now? Presently now, he's seated in the heavenly places on the right hand of power. And Matthew chapter 26, verse 64, Mark 16, 42. Matthew 26, verse 64, Mark 14, 62. Bible said it, the place where he's seated is a place of power. Because he said, um, after this, you see the Son of Man seated on the right hand of power. And another place said, after this, you see the, the Son of Man uh, coming on, uh, on the, in the right hand of power. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. And the right hand of God is the right hand of power. In First Peter chapter 3, verse 22, Bible says he's seated on God's right hand. And angels, authorities, and powers are subject to him. So, as he is, how he, he how is he now? He's seated on the right hand of power. He, we, as he is now, so are we in this world. How is he now? He's seated on the right hand of power. You also see it in Luke twenty-two, verse sixty-nine. He is seated on the right hand of power. Jesus is seated on the right hand of power. And if you and I, excuse me, if you and I are as he is right now, we are also seated in power. You remember the Bible says that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. If he is seated on the right hand of power and we are seated with him, we therefore are seated and also in the on the right hand of god on the right hand of power it's so important you you and i allow that to sink into our spirit we are seated on the right hand of god which is the right hand of power praise god so um, as he is so are we in this world you are you have been baptized with power you are anointed with power okay and uh, so uh, also Jesus said, John 20, verse 20, he 20, John 20, verse 21, he said, As the Father has sent me, so send I you. As the Father has sent me, so send I you. Now, how was he sent? How was he sent? How was Jesus sent? Jesus was sent, uh, you know, uh, operating in power. You see that in Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. Jesus, Jesus came manifesting much power manifesting great power 
he came manifesting so much power luke chapter 4 verse 32 the book of luke chapter 4 verse 32 glory to jesus luke sorry i mean mark the book of luke chapter 4 verse 32 thank you jesus you and i are called to minister in power we are called to minister in power the bible says and they were astonished at his teaching for his word was with authority his word was with authority you remember yesterday we said authority is from the greek word esousia and it is also translated power praise god Okay, so um, Luke chapter 10, verse 19, you remember that scripture. It said, For I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I give unto you power. The first power there is, the, is from the word exousia, which is also authority, to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the powers, abilities, dunamis of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So Jesus is seated in power. We are seated in power. Uh, he operated in power when he was here. We are also supposed to operate in power. Because as the Father has sent him, so he has sent us. He has not sent us powerless. He has sent us to minister in power. He has sent us to minister in power. Look at Luke chapter 9. The book of Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Bible said, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Over all demons. He gave them power and authority over all demons. He gave them power and authority over all demons. You and I have been given power and authority over all demons. We have been given power to cure diseases. We have been given power to cure diseases. We have been given power to cure the diseases. The earlier we begin to imbibe that into our spirit, the better for us. Glory to Jesus. The earlier we begin to buy into that, the better for us. You have been anointed with power and authority over all demons to cure disease and to cure diseases. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Mark chapter 3, the book of Mark chapter 3 verse 14 and 15 then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons you and i are anointed to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons we are anointed to cast to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons. I like how Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 puts it. Praise God. Okay. And um, when he had called his disciples, 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. So it's our, it's our responsibility wherever we come upon darkness, wherever we see the work of darkness, to minister light, to shine light. Whenever we see somebody being oppressed by the devil, it's your responsibility and my responsibility to, to take their hands and pray with them, to, to stand in the gap on their behalf, to take authority and to bind the devil. Glory to Jesus. It's your duty, it's your calling. It's your duty, it's your calling. You don't have to feel anointed. You are already anointed. The Christ. Uh, uh, is, is already resident on your inside. Christ means the, uh, the ultimately anointed one. He is resident on your inside. He's on your inside. Jesus is on your inside. All the powers that be are subject to Jesus. Bible says at his name, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and of things under the earth. Okay? The same way. So, because he's on your inside, things are supposed to bow before you. Glory to Jesus. The earlier we begin to understand it and the earlier we begin to exercise ourselves in it, the better for us. Okay? Uh, we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to, to, to feel anointed. You don't need to feel any move of the Spirit. Okay? I, have, I have always say it. I, I operate in the prophetic from time to time. 
And when I've seen the prophetic manifest role in my life, it's not in power services or no, 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 or, or, or in services that I feel very anointed. Mostly it happens in home cells when we are like seven people, eight people worshiping, and then I'll just begin to hear God. Okay, because these gifts or these, these anointings, they are not meant for show, actually. They are meant to minister to people where they are. The next time you see somebody who is sick, before we begin to see, let's go to hospital, take their hands and pray for them. Lay hands on them and pray for them. Believe God in the name of Jesus and ask them to exercise their faith. Now, don't be worried. You are not the one to heal them. Jesus is the one who will heal them. Okay, if anyone among you is sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with all. Bible says, and the prayer of faith will heal the sick and God shall raise him up. It is God who will raise him up. It is God who will raise them up, but it's your own to pray in the name of Jesus. If you believe or feel that any devil is involved, it's your duty to cast out the devil. In the name of Jesus, you we needn't be afraid at all. Praise God. So you already have it. You, we have established that. John 1 verse 12. As many as uh, believed, uh, as many as received him, to them he gave power to be the sons of God. You have been anointed with power to operate as a son of God. You have been anointed with power. And then you have the Holy Spirit. In Luke 24, verse 49, he said that they should tarry in Jerusalem until they be endued with power from on high. And in Acts 1, verse 8, he said, When you, the, the, uh, you shall receive the Holy Ghost, after the, you shall receive power, sorry, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You and I are born again. We are also anointed with the Holy Ghost. We have, uh, therefore, we have the Spirit of power. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of power. You have been anointed with power. Okay, so I want you to go out today, go out this week, and then believe God to see situations that will involve your intervention. When you do see such situations, don't shy away. Do not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Just ask them, can I pray with you? And pray with them. That's how testimonies will begin. That's how testimonies will begin. You see, these things, we, we have to grow in it. We have to grow in it. But before we can grow in it, we have to take baby steps. Look at the child. Look at... Uh, 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 all, all these marathoners or sprinters, you know, um, and, and all that. Look at all of them. There was a time when he couldn't walk. There was a time that this bold man from Jamaica couldn't walk. He couldn't walk. But now he can run, pew, and just he's gone. But he, there was a time in his life when he had to take baby steps. If he never took those baby steps, he would never have been able to walk properly. You will never have been able to run or to excel in running. I see you excel in ministering to the sick. I see you excel in ministering over darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see God using you. I see God use you to make a difference in people's life. I see, I see God use you to bring succor to people's lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. What you carry on your inside. I see God helping you to release it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. And I'm believing God that God will bring ministry opportunities your way. He will bring them today. He will bring them the rest of this week. He will bring them the rest of this month in the name of Jesus. And when he brings it, the Holy Spirit will remind you. And the Holy Spirit will empower you with courage and boldness to take their hands and to declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I see testimonies returning with you. In the name of Jesus. Bible says, and they went everywhere preaching. I like that. Everywhere. Everywhere means everywhere. That means there's no place where this thing doesn't work. It will work in the office. It will work in the school. It will work at home. It will work in your compound. It will work on your street. It will work in the cell. It will work also in church. They went everywhere preaching. The Lord walking with them and confirming their words with signs following. The Lord walking with them and confirming their words with signs following. I see God confirming your words with signs following. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I see God confirming your words with signs following. I see God walking with you in the name of Jesus. I see God use you to heal chronic diseases. 
to heal chronic infirmities, to cast out devils from individuals, from families, from organizations, even from communities. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I see us returning with testimonies. Bible says, and the 70 returned with test with reports it said the the report saying the devils are subject to us in your name i see that the bible said they returned with joy i see you return with joy in the name of jesus philip preached in samaria and bible says there was great joy in that city i see great joy erupt as you stand ministering in the name of jesus praise god so please go ahead this morning and just thank god thank god because you have the power Thank God that you have the power. Say, I have the power, and I thank God for it. Go ahead and tell yourself, I have the power, and I thank God for it. Lord God, I thank you because I have the power. I thank you because I'm anointed with power, power against all unclean spirits to cast them out and over all manners of diseases to heal them. In the name of Jesus, as I'm growing day by day and more and more in being conformed to Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am anointed with power. And I am anointed with authority. I am anointed with exousia. I am anointed with dunamis. I am anointed with grace to heal. In the name of Jesus. The anointed one is on my inside. Therefore, I also am anointed. I have the anointing from the Holy One. I'm hoping you are saying this to yourself. I have the anointing of the holy one and i i am able to lay hands on the sick in the name of jesus bible says they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover i lay hands on the sick and every time they recover in the name of jesus i lay hands on people who are sick and every time they recover i lay hands on people who are the devil possessed and the devils come out i i speak to devils and they obey me in the name of the lord jesus thank you father i I see that somebody will lay hands on another person having an asthmatic attack and immediately that attack will be resolved in the name of jesus thank you lord go ahead and also commit today into the hands of god in the name of jesus declare that the will of jehovah the will of god my father will be done today in the name of jesus as you pray that prayer as a prayer of declaration you are also praying it as a prayer of consecration oh god let your will be done in my life today help me to arrange myself to submit to your will in the name of jesus help me to do that which please you today in the name of jesus go ahead and commit your consents to god your consent your consent your consent commit your consents to god and your book your your, your cares and tell them that tell him that i know that you have born them for me therefore i thank you i thank you in the name of jesus i will not touch them with worry or thinking about them i will only remember them in praise and in thanksgiving thank you jesus because you have given them to me thank you because you have done it for me thank you for the contract thank you for the open door thank you for the promotion thank you for open door to cities and to nations of the world thank you for open doors for my family for my spouse in the name of jesus i am grateful father blessed be your name thank you jesus and the people said amen praise god Okay, do have a nice day. We'll uh, be together again tomorrow.